If you've ever observed pigeons or just casually bumped into a hawk chilling on a tree on your way to work, like this beauty I saw one day, isn't that amazing? You've sort of taken the first step towards bird watching or birding. Birding is the wildlife observation of birds, and I learned so much about it from two great Bronx birders. Before we could go on our walk, though, we gathered at the Orchard Beach parking lot bright and early and got some bird watching tips. Tip number one, make sure you have a good pair of binoculars. They're essential for birding. Tip number two, many birders use scopes too. Those are a little pricey, but they're great tools for long distance birding. Tip number three, birders should do some research and have guides handy just to make sure they can properly identify birds. Tip number four, most importantly, suit up for the weather. It was a bit brisk out, so we all made sure to wear appropriate clothing for our walk. But also, be mindful of insects such as mosquitoes and ticks if you're birding in the summertime. And finally, tip number five, pack a bag with essentials such as emergency items and snacks. Got all that? We're ready to start. The birds that we want to see today, particularly target birds, are the pileated. And there's a barred owl, and there was a barrel's golden eye. Um, we'll try for that again, and uh, we'll have fun. Jack Rothman created CityIslandBirds.com because he felt that Pelham Bay Park has been neglected by the birding community. I started this uh, doing walks here in 2007, so 12 years, and the reason was because I wanted, uh, I wanted other people to appreciate the birds and the, and, and the park itself. There's no fee. We don't charge anything for this. This is just to get people out and, and enjoying the park. And we like to have kids and beginners. He and Joseph McManus, another birder, led the walk. Before every walk, Jack heads out into the woods to spread seeds, which helps bring the birds down for easier spotting. Our first sighting in the woods were these beautiful blue jays, chickadees, and some really pretty pigeons I've never really seen before. So Jack, before the walk began, you, you spread mulch, or what was it, no, food? The food, I found seed. Bird seed that I buy in Costco. I come over there all the time. The birds, I think they know me already. <laughs> and whenever I come, I drop the food there. And it's just fun to watch them come down. The park is known for its owls, like the barred owl, one of our great finds for the day. He's looking straight at us. So the, the rule is, if he opens his eyes, it means you're disturbing him. I'm fascinated. I've never seen a, a bird that close, an owl that close. Are we bird sighting or are they sighting us? Away. Birding is not just a hobby, it's really part of a growing industry. Joseph McNannis tells us more about how he started and what it's becoming today. I was working at a nuke in 1977 out in Shoreham and um, I just started feeding birds. I came back, I got laid off in October and that February I bought a house and my tenant was a birder. So it just like accelerated from there. Tell us a little bit about how the birding just profession in a way has grown from way back when to now. Well, years ago, if you were a birder, like 40, 50 years ago, they thought you were like a little cuckoo. <laughs> but today, seeing that it's such a big business, there's still people that are not into it, but I bird in 20 something states in Canada. So people birding all over the world and there's trips all around the world. There's no place in the world you can go on top of a mountain, in a desert, uh, out at sea. So no matter where you go, you're exposed to birds. So it's, it's a tourist attraction to bird. Definitely. Do the birding and it's sightseeing. There's a lot Definitely. of pluses to birding. Tell us more about that. Well, it gets you outside. I bird like uh, last year, maybe a hundred days. Mm, wow. It gets you out. Uh, it's enjoyable. You go from Van Cortlandt Park to Pelham Bay Park. Apart from seeing some beautiful birds, sightseeing and enjoying nature, I met some really friendly people. We were all just one big happy group trekking through the woods onto the beach where we saw ducks and bald eagles flying near Lighthouse. I even helped someone find a bird at one point. A good look at a red-bellied woodpecker, especially for the new birds. The suggestion is to look with your naked eye and then bring it's, the binoculars uh, up to the eye level that, uh, and you'll see area. Oh, okay. you see him? I finally see him. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your persistence. Just so you know, not all the birders are old like us. There are a lot of young birders. This happens to be an old group, but there's a bunch of young birders who go out. You're all but, welcome to join. Everybody's <laughs> everybody welcome. Is welcome. Although we couldn't find one of our birds of the day, the pileated woodpecker, I saw many birds I'd never seen before and learned so much about birding with some great people. Who knew there were so many places and species to see right here in the Bronx? You should start birding. <laughs> birding is truly incredible. Try it sometime. Reporting for BronxNet, Sanji Lopez.